So this free online course is a study in history, in culture, it's a study in deliciousness, it's, it's creative and an understanding a little bit on how we view our digestive system. Together with my colleagues from the University of Reading and curators from historic royal palaces, we'll be taking you on a fascinating journey into the history of food and monarchy. Your monsters will never be a match for super. <laughs> you haven't met Larry. Larry? <laughs> I hardly think someone called Larry would be scary. Hugh oh Sinclair was really interested in looking at the diets of the Inuit populations that were previously known as Eskimos. Although they had a very high amount of dietary fat, they had a low risk of cardiovascular diseases. He tried to get funding uh, from many different sources to do this research, but unfortunately was unable. So he resorted to self-experimentation, which we wouldn't advocate today. On this course, we're going to be looking at Rome at its pomp, at its height, about 2,000 years ago, when the emperors here ruled a vast swathe of territory from Hadrian's Wall to the Nile Delta, and the resources, the materials, the ideas from around that empire allowed its rulers to transform it from a city of brick into a city of marble. So we're going to be looking at it as a working city, a living city, trying to tease out the evidence for those non-grand monuments, the aqueducts, the sewers, the street fountains, the apartment blocks, the warehouses, all the stuff that sustained the life of the city that made possible that lovely veneer of grand monuments on the top. This extra layer of connected security intelligence gives you stronger defenses, faster reaction times, and better reporting, allowing you to detect, identify, and neutralize the most dangerous threats quickly. And with our global team on your side, ready to respond 24-7, you have a team of cybersecurity experts ready to join your fight anywhere on the planet. Here's to the cybersecurity experts, the unsung heroes of the 21st century. PCCW Global. Digital solutions delivered. Where the sun is a little brighter, where the snows that fall are a trifle wider, where the bonds of home are a wee bit tighter, that's where the West begins. That's where the West begin. Toyota, let's go places. The journey she made was dangerous and full of obstacles, but it was accomplished. And in Brussels, she delivered the statue to the Crossbowman Guild, who built a chapel in her honor at the Sablon. To this day, the Crossbowmen honor the statue, and every year they hold a procession in its honor, like our own Semana Santa processions in Malaga and Seville.
you know, Bruno's always been a, what's the word that I'm looking for? Introverted guy. You know, he was the kind of guy who would purposely start trouble in class just to get kicked out because he doesn't want to be in there. I couldn't read and people who were younger than me could read better than me. So I said to myself, forget school. School is my worst enemy. I eventually got kicked out with no GCSEs. The whole surface of the earth was changing, melting and flowing before my very eyes. It's difficult to explain the peculiar sensations of time travel, though I felt a growing horror at knowing I was hurtling at tremendous speed into the unknown. With a sudden lurch of fear, I tugged on the stopping lever. And in an instant, the moving landscape shuddered to a standstill around me. The machine went reeling over onto its side, and I was flung headlong through the air. the sky, the world gone topsy-turvy, pulled by a group of comedy elves, all played by Eddie Murphy. The streets are filled with people and it's suddenly Christmas Day, and everyone says Merry Christmas in an unrealistic way. And a little girl and her smiling dad are opening a Christmas present. She lifts the lid and a puppy springs out, it's all so wholesome and pleasant. 